This is an intro to Modern Assyrian Lesson 7. So this week I thought would be a good time to start going over the verb to be. Uh, specifically, I'm going to give all the conjugations in the present tense. Pretty much all the other lessons have mainly been phrases, so I thought um, it'd be good to start introducing a little bit of grammar and vocabulary so you know like what those phrases mean at the word-by-word -word level instead of just repeating them without knowing what you're literally saying. So the first one is going to be I am. This is to be, present tense, first person, and singular. Anna even. Anna even. And this would be said if you're a male. If you're a girl, you can't say this. It's only a masculine way to say the verb. Anna even. Anna even. Anna even. Anna even. Next is you are, so this is the second person singular conjugation. At evit. At evit. This would be said to a man, it's the masculine form of the word. At evit. At evat. At evat. This would be said to a woman, so it's the feminine. At evat. Next is he, she, or it is. So this is the third person singular conjugation. Um, there's not really a specific word for it. It just depends on whether you're talking about a masculine or feminine object. Again, in Assyrian, like in a lot of other languages, all nouns have a gender. Av ile. Av ile. This would be he is, or it's the masculine of it is. Av ile. Eya ila. Eya ila. This would mean she is. It's the feminine form. Eya ila. Next is we are. So this is the first person again, but now in the plural. Achnan ivach. Achnan ivach. Then in the plural, there's no gender difference. This just means we are. Achnan ivach. Next is you are, so this is the second person again, but this time in the plural. Achtun itun. Achtun itun. Again, in the plural, there's no gender difference. This is just when you're talking to more than one person, this means you are. Achtun itun. Finally is they are, so this is the third person plural. Ani ina. Ani ina. Again, there's no gender difference. This means they are. Ani ina. These are just going to be some quick notes on grammar and pronunciation. So, big thing, in Assyrian, the subject pronouns can be dropped. Um, you might recognize this from some other languages. There's lots of languages that do this, like Spanish or Persian, for example. Just you don't need the subject pronoun to have a complete sentence. As you probably noticed in the other lessons, the subject pronouns are usually put back in to add emphasis in spoken Assyrian. Also, you probably see at the beginning of all of the different forms of the verb to be, the E sound can usually be dropped, or it'll either be dropped or absorbed into the word before it, so it's only pronounced sometimes. So here's some vocabulary for this week. It'll just be a couple words, but you should be able to start using them now. Yala. Yala means boy. Yala. Brata, brata, means girl. This also means daughter. Brata. Rama, rama, ramta, ramta. This means tall. Rama is the masculine form of the adjective, and ramta is the feminine. Shapira, shapira, shapirtha, shapirtha. Beautiful. Shapira, Shapirta. This last section is going to be some sample sentences. You should have enough words now that you can start making your own, but this will just show you um, how words go together in the sentences. Av ile yala. Av ile yala. This means he is a boy. Eya ramta ila. 
Eya Ramta Ila. This means she is tall. Uh, everything you see in parentheses here could technically be dropped and it would still be correct. So you could say Ramtala and it would still mean she is tall. Again, you'll notice that the verb is at the end of the sentence. It doesn't have to be there, but that's where you'll commonly hear it when it's this kind of sentence. Brata shapurta ila. Brata shapurta ila. This means the girl is beautiful. You could also, again, cut out the parentheses and just say Brata shapurta la. Brata shapurta la. So that's the end of lesson seven, so I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful. Um, you should have enough words by now to start constructing your own sentences if you want to, um, simple sentences at least. Uh, again, I'm happy to answer any questions, can go over the vocabulary from this lesson and the ones past and just start getting creative with it, I guess. So thanks for watching. Merci.